Greetings, and welcome to this latest edition of Sean McLean's video blog. It's probably about time I did a new title sequence, eh? I've been using that one for quite a while now, and most of the footage from that is actually from my first blog, I think. As a matter of fact, I think all the footage in that is from my first blog. If you're wondering what I'm sitting on, it's one of these. No, this isn't Rover from The Prisoner. Bonus points if you people have heard of that, or for those of you who have heard of it. It's actually one of those exercise balls, but um, this, of course, is my little makeshift studio area. So you got the microphones here, got the blue screen there, um, and all the other equipment that you've seen before. Uh, it's actually my den in my house, well, townhouse, and um, basically, girlfriend and I have the bedroom next door, and this room I turned into a uh, den slash studio slash storage room. <laughs> it's got a little bit of everything in it. Anyway, I wanted to uh, come on here. Um, oh, the uh, the exercise ball. Yeah, so anyway, this is where Ben and I do all of our development sessions and such, and I only have one chair, which is the crappy office chair that you've seen in previous videos. It's really falling apart, and I'm looking for a new chair very soon. Anyway, Ben needed somewhere to sit, because prior to that he was just sitting on the floor or on a very uncomfortable fold-out chair, which is like, you know, solid wood, not very comfortable on the old tushy. So he got this exercise ball, which is great. It's, uh, you can exercise on it or you can just use it as a, as a seat. It's actually quite, uh, quite comfortable, helps the posture and whatnot. Anyway, um... I just wanted to come on here, because I realized I hadn't done a video blog for a while, so I wanted to get back into that. Um, the last sort of major video you guys saw was Super Mega Transform, which was a big uh, special effects extravaganza video that uh, Ben and I did for our Two Guys in an Effects Box project. Um, just wanted to let you all know that uh, the project is not dead. <laughs> So I realize you haven't heard anything about it for a while. I put up a, a short little 30 second promo spot that I put together. Uh, it's basically just the 3D logo and the name of the album. So yes, you now know the name of the album. It is entitled, quite simply, The Beginning. And uh, actually, in the interim time between Super Mega Transform and now, the album has been one of the things that I've been working on more than anything else. So that's been taking up a lot of time. Um, we had a bunch of tracks that we were going to use for the album, but um, we decided that we, we wanted to to expand, I guess, the spectrum of music that, that we do as two guys on an effects box. So um, sort of almost at the zero hour, we decided to go back to the drawing board, keep some of the old tracks, but also do a whole bunch of new ones. So, because we felt that the, uh, you know, the old stuff is fine, but with everything that we've learned since we originally recorded that, we felt we could do a lot better for our debut effort. So, uh, so we basically put things on hold for a little while while we sit down and, uh, and work on some new songs. Um, so we're doing about six, six to eight new songs that, uh, you know, uh, of varying types. Mostly you're sort of dancey, techno-y, you know, feel good, have fun, have a good time type stuff. Um, but with the trademark, you know, two guys silliness in it. So you'll be getting to listen to those um, soon enough. We're going to do some music videos and such too uh, for a few of them and see if we can get uh, some radio play and whatnot. But uh, in the meantime, I wanted to come on here just to give you sort of an update on where, where things are. 
So we've been working on a few things, um, one of which is developing uh, a business plan for our actual production company. Um, <coughs> so the production company is going to be sort of the main company that handles all of our video and audio uh, productions. Uh, but we really want to do it as a proper company and basically be self-employed and use that as our primary source of income. So we've been developing a business plan and working out uh, a lot of the details of the business, which we'd actually worked out quite a while before, but um, a as we got more involved in the development process this time around, um, with the intent of actually doing something with it, um, we, we realized that there was a lot of potential to take the production company in a variety of directions. So we're exploring a lot of different possibilities right now and, uh, and working out a a nice solid plan. So that's been taking up a lot of time, is doing all the uh, the research and uh, and development for the, uh, the for the business plan, plus working on the album, which um, is a lot of work uh, because we want it to be as good as possible. Uh, in addition to that, I also had to quickly put together a uh, a compilation DVD of two guys' videos, basically everything that you've seen on YouTube. Um, featuring Ben and I, either as the two guys or just as, you know, generic characters. Uh, so, you know, I had to put together a compilation DVD because there was a TV show that was interested in featuring some of our videos. Not too shabby, eh? Um, I mean, it's just, not to get too excited, it's, uh, it's basically a public access TV show out of Connecticut. Um, but, hey, uh, it, it reaches a pretty wide viewership apparently something like eight to ten thousand viewers a week so that's a lot of exposure for for you know little up-and-comers like us so we were pretty excited about that so I had to put together a promo compilation DVD for them and uh, just so they'd have some material to put on the show and then as we do music videos and such we'll be sending that to them as well um, what else oh in terms of video um, another thing we've been working on is, um, because Super Mega Transform was so popular, uh, we wanted to sort of take that to the next level, I guess you could say. So we're actually working on a series of, uh, a series of videos featuring the two guys' characters. Um, now originally it was just going to be Super Mega Transform, just going to be sort of a one-off thing. I guess to, to best explain what exactly it was and what it was intended to be was for the most part a, um, a proof of concept and experimental piece just to see, you know, we, we basically said, well, you know, we've got this blue screen, we've got all this cool editing software, uh, audio and video editing software, let's see what we can do with it. So we just came up with this idea, or actually Ben came up with the idea originally of doing just sort of a a short transformation sequence and then I said well why don't we do like a full-on transformation sequence like something right out of Sailor Moon but featuring the two guys so that was what it, we did and then we just sort of developed it I composed uh, the music that you hear in it um, <clears throat> the music took about a week to put together maybe, maybe a little less than maybe about five days to put together sort of going for a cross between Mortal Kombat and Sailor Moon to sort of get that you know hyper kinetic anime transformation sequence feel with a little bit of Mortal Kombat thrown in there just for fun and uh, stuff like that. So that was sort of what, what I was going for with the music. So once the music was done, listening to the music sort of gave us ideas in our head about what we wanted to do for the visuals. So we just sort of brainstormed about that and then came up with you know some various uh, ideas for that and then we spent about three days filming uh, filming us doing everything in front of the blue screen and then we spent another couple of days scouting locations and filming the locations uh, various uh, things for the backgrounds uh, so we went out to this nice forest location where you see all the forest shots and uh, we went to this uh, sort of big gothic church that's here in Victoria and uh, did some other background shots there. You don't even see all of them in the video. Um, so basically, I, I'm just hanging on to those background shots, and we'll probably use them at some point for something. Um, or maybe not. Actually, that's another thing I should mention. You're probably noticing, for the first time ever, 
this particular video blog is being done in widescreen. Uh, there's a couple of reasons for that. First off, I just like the look of widescreen. I think it gives it a nice, cool, cinematic look. The other reason is we decided that uh, basically everything that we're doing from this point forward is going to be widescreen. Why? Quite simply because that's the way the world is going. Um, you look over in Europe, you can't even buy a non-widescreen TV anymore. Everything is widescreen over there. Even just, like, the news is widescreen over there. And it's fast becoming the norm over here in North America. Uh, you're seeing widescreen TVs more and more. More and more shows are being done in widescreen and shown in widescreen. It's just... It's the whole high-definition TV, or HDTV, thing that you've probably been hearing all about. Or maybe you even have an HDTV set, you lucky devils out there who have one. Um... Anyway, it's just, it's the way the world's going, so we figure, well, okay, even though these are going up on the internet, and widescreen doesn't really matter so much on internet video, uh, I noticed the aspect ratio, if we want to talk technical terms, of uh, YouTube is actually standard resolution, as opposed to widescreen, but uh, whatever, I mean, the, the, the whole thing is, we're archiving, like, I'm archiving everything that you see uh, in full DV quality, so I figure, you know, if there's interest down the road, I want to have the best quality uh, source material possible, and I want everything to match, so all our productions are going to be widescreen, but I thought if there's any interest in people seeing DVDs or whatever of these video blogs, you know, maybe not now, because it's like new or whatever, but when we hit the big time, there may be an interest, so, um, excuse me. So I figured it's best to have everything in the same format so that it's all uniform. Um, yeah, so anyway, that sort of, in a nutshell, is why you haven't seen much of me for the past little while since, uh, since putting up Super Mega Transform. I have to admit, Ben and I were really disappointed by the fact that it didn't get featured. Um, the whole thing, I mean, it took us about, it took me about a week to do the music, about a week to film everything, and then about three weeks to edit everything and do all the compositing and effects and such. So all told, it took like a little over a month to do that whole video. We put a lot of work into it. And I even emailed YouTube saying, hey, you know, a lot of people are really enjoying this video. How about a feature? And they said, oh, well, you know, we leave that up to our staff and we don't, uh, you know. Basically, they said in not so many words, we don't let users dictate what gets featured or have a say in what gets featured anymore so so no feature I don't know but we did get at this point I think we're close to a thousand views which is you know it's respectable it's pretty good um, it's a little annoying when you see videos get featured that you know obviously no effort was put into and they just have no you know, real redeeming qualities about them at all. They're just, you know, lame. <laughs> but, you know, one man's garbage is another man's gold, right? So I guess what's, what may be lame to you or me may be considered comedy gold to somebody else. So, yeah, you know, like even take a look at some of my most popular videos. Like, there was one that Ben and I did, Two Philosophers. It was four episodes. Episode four got onto the highest rated list and just got all this all these views in the span of like a day it was like 1800 views I realize you know to a lot of you watching probably these numbers aren't terribly high I know there's a lot of people out there who get views of up to you know tens if not hundreds of thousands of views just for doing a video blog and I sometimes really wonder why it's like what what am I doing or not doing that is so different from what they're doing or not doing? And why are they getting so many more hits than me? It's not a complaint. It's just an observation and a curiosity to me. I'm just sort of wondering, like, why? What, what makes this video so much more viewable than this one? I don't know. It, it boggles my mind. Anyway, let me just check and see how much time we're up to here. Holy Moses! Fifteen minutes! Well, you wanted an update, you got one. <laughs> Sorry about the length there, folks, but uh, I guess I had a lot to say this time around. 
Anyway, I'm going to capture this, edit it, and upload it, so I will uh, talk to you next time. So until then, thanks for watching, and sayonara.